Hello, my name's Tobias, and I'm the co-founder of Supernotes, the new collaborative note-taking app, and I'm really excited to share with you our first brief introductory video on how to get started. The first thing you're going to notice is that everything's very different. There are no files, there are no documents, everything is a note card. And the benefit of that is that you can find and break down what you'd conventionally write in long documents into short, brief pieces of information. So if you're in a meeting and you want to write, you may be writing your marketing minutes and your finance minutes and an agenda, you can tag all those cards as individual different items. If you're in a lecture, you might want to write multiple definitions and then you can then see all those definitions alongside each other. For example, you know, here I have a card that has code within it and I've tagged it as such. So if I now hit the hashtag code button, I can immediately see all of my cards to do with code. And I can quickly undo that by again, clicking it to undo that filter. And it's really powerful. You can do things such as maths equations, color your cards. So it's really nice and you create a very flexible and really cohesive experience. Something that's very different from traditional note-taking apps. And you can also create a hierarchy as well. We won't go into too much detail today and I'm gonna quickly show you how to get started now. So here's a blank, new, fresh Supernotes account. And the first thing you'll notice is there's, there's two distinct sections to Supernotes. On the left-hand side, you'll have the sidebar. This is where you can create your hierarchy and you can navigate between your notes. It'll also show you where you currently are. So at the moment, I'm within the home and that, that is reflected here with the home as the active view. And this right-hand side is what we call the note board. So with home, it acts like a flat structure. You have every note that you've ever created or have access to, so you can always find it in your home. And in your junk, obviously, that's where you find your cards you don't want anymore. So let's create a new card. So here it prompts you and it says create a new card. You can either start typing or click plus in the bottom left. And this is great. So here's the plus, create a new card, and immediately it's there. And this is the sort of template. This is the edit view for a card. And it prompts you to write a title. So actually later I need to write, uh, I actually need to go shopping. So I'm going to create a shopping list. And just to focus my view, I might not want the sidebar right now. I can close that there. So it's really simple. And now I'm great. So I'm here. I want to go now into the body of the card. I can press enter or tab to do that. And now I want to write some, you know, some markdowns. So what we, we support markdown, LaTeX, a few other sort of note-taking languages. If you don't know them, we've got lots of help here to help you. So here in the bottom right, you can see the help menu. And you can actually access something called the cheat sheet. And this shows you the basic keyboard commands as well as this markdown syntax. So it's really nice, really simple. And today I want to write a checklist. So you see it's denoted with the dash and then some brackets. So let's do that now, dash and brackets. The X means that this actually is a checked checklist, but right now I haven't got any of the items, so let's do just keep it empty. So I need some milk today, I need to buy some cheese, I need to buy some apples. So very, very easy, very, very simple. If I now finish this note card, that's when my changes and all of my edits are pushed to the server. So at the moment, this is still local on my device. I haven't actually saved anything yet. So I finish it by either pressing the button or actually by using the keyboard command as command enter. And there you go, you have a wonderful shopping list. It's really, really nice. And then you can even edit it in the display mode, this is now called. And I can now check those items off when I go shopping. On the top right, you can see I can edit it again. And you can see that the markdown has now been edited. So it's really, really lovely. Great. So now we've got that. Now I'll show you a few of the other little bits and bobs just to give you a quick introduction. You can also see that here in the bottom right prompts you that you can write any letter key to create a new card. And Supernotes is all about speed. Almost everything has a key binding. So I can start typing and you can see that a new card is written if I can spell typing correctly. And I can cancel my changes immediately by hitting escape. If I open the sidebar, you can now see here's where your card hierarchy is, as I showed you previously. And I can go switch back to my other cards and see, show, show you that there. Then you have my filters. So you can filter and like change what is seen on the, the noteboard. I can also sort my cards here in the, in the noteboard menu by alphabetical order or where, whatever I might like to do. And that's immediately updated. So here it's reversed, it's descending, and now I can make it ascending. And you can see all of my cards in beautiful alphabetical order. You can also export your cards. You can print them as PDF. So it will give you a lot of flexible options. You can also search for your cards. So we have a very nice fuzzy search where you can immediately find anything. So if, for example, I, I just had a, have a bookshelf. I like, you know, a lot of, a, you know, one card for all of my books. And I can immediately find that there. By clicking on the title of any card, you'll actually open what is called a preview. And that's really nice because it's just, with no distractions, shows you that single card as one view. And then here on the right hand side, you have the user menu. So this is where it shows you how many cards you've written. You can refer a friend, so it'll actually show you a referral code. You can enter a coupon code, so when you get a re receive a referral code, you can find that there. 
You have your account settings where you can update your profile picture, your password, you can sign out, and then you have this really nice three state switch for dark mode, light mode, and automatic. Currently it's on automatic, that means it will reflect your system settings. On the left hand side it's dark light mode, and the right hand side is dark mode, and we love dark mode. You know, we've designed a lot of the, a lot of super notes is about you know readability and simplicity, and so we really enjoy um, you know working late. It's really really helpful. And if I now switch it back to light mode, and in the bottom right, the last thing you'll see is the help menu. So this shows you uh, the current version you're running. It shows you an option to chat to us, my co-founder Connor and I, and we'll be with you very swiftly if you have any problems. You can take a tour, which brings up the cheat sheet as well. You can also see the community forum. So that's we, we have an amazing community of Supernotes. We love interacting with our users and seeing what you guys get up to. So please do join. We also have a help center where you can go and find any article on whatever it might be from adding tags to filtering. We've got it sorted there. And also you see some social links. You know, great to engage with you on social media. Please do follow us and then find our terms and privacy in the bottom right. So that's a very brief overview of Supernotes. I've hoped you've enjoyed it. If it has been helpful, smash that like button, follow us and subscribe for more updates. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you.